What's up, everybody? You tapped into the Purple Pocket Podcast, and it's your boy, R.A.P. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's up, man? I appreciate y'all tapping in, man. It's another episode, man. Purple Pocket Podcast. Hey, so we had the conferences today, man. Press conferences for the coaching staff. We had Ed Donatel. We had Kevin O'Connell got up there. And then our special, our special teams coach, Matt Daniels. Matt Daniels. Yeah, man, but we're going to talk about how we feel, man. What's the vibe off of the press conference, man? To be honest with you, like, you know, Ed Donatel, he seemed like a really good dude, man. Honestly, he he looked mean. as He look, he looked like he mean, I ain't going to lie. Like, he looked like he the type B, you know what I mean, smack you upside the head if you get the assignment wrong. But, you know, it just seemed like a good-hearted dude. You know, honestly, the vibes I was getting from the whole staff was just, like, they want to win, man. It's just it's something just feels good about the coaching staff and how everybody talking, you know. And I know during the press conferences, you know, everybody going to say the right thing. You know what I mean? That's just that's just how it goes in NFL or any sport at that. You know, press conferences, they always going to say the right thing, try to make it seem like they just perfect. But, you know, honestly, man, I really feel genuine. I think it's genuine, man. I really think that. It's a breath of fresh air, actually, listening to them, you know, getting rid of all that toxic waste we had, man, for the past eight years. But, you know, anyway, man, yeah, so Ed Donatel, he was up, man, and, you know, hey, he was just talking about his scheme and how he got to learn the players and learn who he got out there and, you know, just just making it make sense, making it make sense, you know what I'm saying? And, and it feel good. It feel good to say we got a new staff, right? All right, then we got Matt Daniels, the way, you know, Matt Daniels coming from from Dallas special teams, you know. I mean, I ain't really pay too much attention to their special teams. I don't really watch Dallas like that unless we playing them, but I do love when Dallas lose because, man, so many Dallas fans, man, them boy be Dallas fans just delusional, man. We're, and we're going to be on their head top when the season starts, so don't even worry about it. We play them next year anyways, so we're going to see what's happening with that. But, you know, he seemed like a good dude, you know, very intellectual dude, man. Just seemed like he know what he doing. Obviously, he's a players type coach from, you know, what everybody's saying. So that's a good thing. That's what we need. We need player type coaches, man. Not coaches that just go in their office and don't even say what's up to the players. Like, I mean, I read an article where Brian O'Neill was saying that Mike Zimmer's never said hey to him, dog. Like, what, what type of type of man dog like for real with it right, boy like it's crazy it's crazy out here man just crazy out here with minnesota right but yeah man and then we got wes phillips man which i seem i feel like he was a little nervous during his press conference to be honest with you like he was probably my least favorite with the press conference but it's maybe just because he ain't used to doing press conferences but you know hey his pedigree strong you know, you got his dad, and you got Bum, Bum Phillips, and, you know, his pedigree strong. So, hey, I got faith in boy. I ain't going to lie. I got faith in boy. I think boy going to make something happen, man. You know, hopefully he, hopefully he's innovative, man, and brings brings what need to be done, man, because he, I think he's the oldest out of them. So, hopefully he ain't with that run, run, run. But I know Kevin O'Connell going to have a grip on that, man. Kevin O'Connell going to make sure the offense is ran because he's actually – Kevin's actually calling the plays anyway. He already stated that, that he's going to be the one calling the plays. So we should be good on that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, I just got a good feeling, man. I got a good feeling from the press conferences, man. You know, I think I just I just ready for the season to start, man. It's a long season, man. I started this YouTube about two weeks ago. You know, I, I just wanted to get it get it generated and get it started before the season start because you know i've always wanted you know i've always represent the vikings man and i just wanted to let everybody know how i feel man give my takes give my opinions you know at the end of the day these all my opinions unless we got facts and like i said again kirk cousins not being a champion not being a winner that's a fact there ain't no opinion that's a fact so y'all can stay out my comments with all that you feel me but yeah man hey we going into the 2022-2023 season. Man, we going with a whole new, you know, regime, man. And hopefully they make it happen. 
You know, I feel good about it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments, man. If y'all happy, man, if y'all watch those those interviews and y'all feel good about it, man, let me know down in the comments section, man. Appreciate you. Holla at your boy. Appreciate everybody for tapping into the Purple Pocket Podcast. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. Purple Gang.